Hello everyone, welcome back to the new video. So in this video, first we're gonna talk about Marcus Brownlee. So when a top tag guru like Marcus Brownlee reviews a product, the world listens. But what happens when his verdict is less than favorable? Today we are diving into the storm of criticism that ensued after Brownlee labeled the human AI pin as possibly the worst product he has ever reviewed. In his review, Marcus Brownlee didn't hold back. He highlighted that the human AI pin was sluggish in response, often getting warm even when idle, and the device was bulky enough to snag on claws. Despite acknowledging the sleek aluminium frame and integrated sensors, the overall functionality left a lot to be desired. This blunt critic set the stage for the backlash that followed. Daniel Vassallo, a notably internet personality, took to wax for known as Twitter, criticizing Brownlee for potentially damaging a Nexon tech project given his massive following. He argued that great reach comes great responsibility. So here is tweet where he wrote, I find it distasteful, almost unethical to say when this you have 18 million subscribers. Hard to explain why, but with great reach comes great responsibility, potentially killing someone else Nexon project reeks of carelessness. First, do no harm. On the flip side, supporters like YouTuber most critical defended Brownlee's approach, praising him for saving consumers for investment investing in a subpar product and sparking a debate about the nature of tech reviews where Charlie wrote dog shit take imagine a world where all reviewers have to give squeaky clean reviews to everything the whole point is informing people on products so they can decide if it's worth buying this one was turbo s and he did people a favor by saving them time slash money on it the industry reaction was mixed Sam Schaeffer, head of new media at Humane, responded publicly by appreciating the honesty in Brownlee's review, highlighting the both positive and negative feedback are crucial for improvement. Meanwhile, other reviewers like Mr. Who's the Boss also expressed similar disappointment with the AI pin, signaling a broader concern of the product's shortcomings. The tech community and general public were divided. Some echoed Vessel's concern, fearing the impact of negative reviews on innovative projects. Others argued that the purpose of a review is to provide honest feedback, regardless of the consequences. This debate spilled over onto various platforms with users passionately discussing the responsibility of influencers and the expectation from tech reviews. Today, exploration into Marcus Brownlee's controversial review sheds light on the delicate balance between honesty and responsibility in tech journalism. What do you think? Even some users criticizing Daniel where this user said, I find this post distasteful, almost unethical. Perhaps companies shouldn't release stupid garbage. And Daniel replied and said, they are not forcing anyone to buy it. You can return it if you don't like it. The YouTube title was banned to crush them, a show of force by MKBHD. Even Marcus also responded on this allegation where he said, We disagree on what my job is. Where Daniel replied and said, Why didn't you use the same sensational title on X? This was honest. The YouTube title wasn't. So what do you guys think about it? Please comment down below. Then we're gonna talk about SQC. So SQC also reacted to the Kaisinet situation on his recent live stream where he said this. Is that chat? Is that chat? Is that a Kai Sanat girl chat or is that Glizzo? Like many young great horned owls, this bird actually fell out of his nest before he was ready to fledge. It was only a few days old. I'm going to say it hard art <laughs> because whatever, dude, because just I just gonna I feel it, like you know, it, bro. Fuck it. this shit. It's also another streamer, Duke Dennis, reacted to the Kai Sinat drama outside this. Weird. So, if. You still, if, if, if you choose, if you try your best to choose wisely and you choose wrong on which female to fuck with, that's just what it is at the end of the day because, nigga, you just so happen to choose one of the weird ones. And you will, you will never be able to know which one is weird. That's the fucked up, that's, that's the fucked up part about it though. You know what I'm saying? Like, Damn, I ain't know she was weird, bruh. That's, I ain't know she was weird. I ain't know she was gonna do this. I ain't know she was gonna be taking pictures of me while I was asleep. You know what I'm saying? Like, even though that's a high probability, I just didn't think she was gonna be the one to be taking pictures of me while I was asleep because she played so, she was cool as a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? She was cool as a motherfucker through messages, through FaceTime, even when we linked up, she was, she was cool as a motherfucker. And oh my boy, SQC's ex-girlfriend Adapt is so pathetic. She posted and deleted this Instagram story saying, Lila Red, the only fan girl that leaked and blackmailed Kaisinat, should have took notes from her. Then we are going to talk about Elon Musk and the X platform. So a tweet from yesterday went viral when an X platform user named X Daily News said, X might be expanding its policy to charge new users before they can reply, like or bookmark a post. This policy was previously only active in New Zealand and the Philippines and it was initially being 
tested to help reduce spam and improve the overall experience for users. To clarify all these rumors, Elon Musk replied and said, Unfortunately, a small fee for new users, right access is the only way to curb the randless onslaught of bots. The onslaught of fake accounts also uses up the available namespace, so many good handles are taken as a result. Elon hasn't directly confirmed when or if new users will need to pay to use the app, but it's clear that he has an interest in making it happen for new users in every country. Even many users also reacted on this matter where this user said, you vastly underestimate how many of your users are scammed on a daily basis on the platform which is why you think this is small fee is an actual hurdle. These scammers are printing infinite daily. They don't give AF about paying pennies to make 5 figures plus. And another user said, X premium doesn't stop bots. So why would a small fee have any effect? It is just going to drive millions of people away from the platform. Well, what do you guys think about it? Please comment down below. Then we are going to talk about Aisha Speed. Yesterday, Aisha Speed reached 24 million subscribers on YouTube. Interestingly, Aisha Speed officially is the most followed slash subscribed English speaking streamer ever, surpassing Ninja 23.9 million. Also, the clip of Aisha Speed went viral on social media where he destroyed the country of Israel in a game. So here's the clip. It's right here. Israel's right here. Bye bye, Israel! Bye bye! So it seems like T-Series finally announced their war against Mr. Beast for the YouTube subscribers race. So what actually happened was about an hour ago, T-Series posted a new video as a call to action to subscribe. This is seemingly their first indirect response to their number one spot being threatened. The video calls for viewers to subscribe to T-Series to unite and form a community to lovers of music. And Mr. Beast has seen T-Series videos, but his response is comparatively lackluster. After hearing about the record labels, call to action on X. Mr. Beast replied with an eyes emoji and didn't say a single word. And I'm very excited for this because I'm from India. Let's see what's gonna happen next. Then we're gonna talk about Adin Rose. So one year ago, Adin Rose showcased a demo of the clip section where you can scroll like TikTok directly off your key cap. Oh, it just scrolls like TikTok. So scroll up. Why they not playing? So this, no, so so this is your your like a legs. proof of concept for us right now. Yo, this is not really going to be on launch. Now, fast forward to 2024, Twitch has released their version of the same concept, fully functional on their app. So here's the clip. See, not me. Already, minutes. My shit. Stepping with a side set. Because we got free tuition. Actually, I'm on scholarship. Wanna get pissed? Selena Gomez? We can get well, what do you guys think about it? Please comment down below. And if you like this video, please press the like button and subscribe this channel. I will see you in the next video. Until then, peace out.